caught some big kingfish. All right, ready? We're gonna come up here and gaff him. Come behind him, behind him. Right there. Oh, you got him. Get him in the boat. Whoa, nice job, buddy. Man, teamwork. Nice gaff, buddy. Nice job, Bruce. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Cameron Kirkconnell with Team Salt Life, and today, fish story is King Mackerel. Otherwise known as kings, smokers, mackerel, mackies. There's a ton of different names for these fish. They are cool, they are fast, and they are aggressive feeders. They're one of the most well-rounded fish that we go after, and let's get into it. King mackerel live from basically North Carolina all the way down the east coast of the U.S., throughout the Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean, and even as far down as Brazil. The biggest one of these species come from the furthest extreme of where they live, which is gonna be in the Gulf of Mexico and all the way down in Brazil. And Key West, Florida is one of the best places in the world to catch them, as well as the entire east coast of Florida. The best time of year for kingfish basically year round, but winter time is usually when it really turns on and you see I've got my hat turned backwards, I've got my flashy shirt on. King fishing is flashy, it's fast, it's fast boats, it's adrenaline junky guys going after them and there's some of the coolest wildest tournaments for these fish specifically that draw huge numbers of people along the east coast of the United States and the Gulf of Mexico and it creates a really fun fishing environment for a fish that go absolutely nuts when you hook them. So how do you identify king mackerel? There's a couple different mackerel species in the United States, and when those mackerel are smaller, like a king mackerel about this big, looks very similar to a Ciro or a Spanish mackerel in that they still have a couple spots on them. But the kings are a little more round, whereas like a Ciro, and a Spanish mackerel are very, very narrow. As they get bigger, they lose those spots. They have a kind of dark, kind of marble look looking like silver gray back, very silver sides and almost white underbelly. Their mouths have a very aggressive barracuda kind of look with big sharp teeth and a very forked tail. Mackerel are ambush hunters and what they'll do is they'll find a bait or a big school of bait and you'll oftentimes you'll see them blast through them with their mouth open and you'll be looking on the horizon and you'll see what you think is a bird in the air but it's actually a mackerel that's 20 feet in the air i've seen them fly as far as 40 or 50 feet through the air it is unbelievable to see how fast these fish can propel themselves out of the water there's two main groups of king mackerel. There's the schooly fish, which are the ones that are most commercially viable. And those are usually the five to like 15, 20 pound fish. And then there's what we call the smokers, the really big ones, the 40, 50 and 60 pound fish that are the most sought after in these tournaments. A lot of times it takes a 60 or even a 70 pound fish to win these tournaments. So the techniques for fishing for these different ones is not too far off, but to get the really big ones, you have to get pretty technical and have some pretty wild baits to make it happen. So how do you catch a king mackerel? Spoons, flashy, white jigs, live baits, dead baits, trolling. There's a ton of different ways to do it. And if you're in the right area and you've got them excited, you can pretty much put anything in the water, they're gonna eat it. The best baits for the really big ones are big live baits. Big mullet, blue runners, hardtails, and even something called a cutlass fish, uh, which is a long ribbon fish. And they have to put multiple hooks along it. And they troll those nice and slow, a lot of times on a downrigger, because those fish are usually down below the surface, 20, 30, and 50 feet. What happens is the kings are ambush hunters, so they'll come up and usually cut a fish in half. And if you're fishing a normal style bait, say, uh, say you've got a mullet and you have it hooked through the nose, most of the time, you're gonna feel that fish hit, but it's just gonna cut the back half of the fish off. So you're gonna reel in your bait, pull it away from them, and all you're gonna have is a head. Because of that, the stinger rig has been designed. You gotta fish with wire so they don't cut you off, and you'll have a hook in the front of the bait, then you'll have another piece of wire and another hook. 
And when you're fishing like with a ribbon fish, you might have up to three hooks along the whole length of this fish so you don't get those short cutoffs. So how are mackerel to eat? The small ones are absolutely amazing. There's a couple different ways to cook mackerel, but the general rule is when they're over 20 pounds, the best way to do it is just to smoke them and make fish dip. The meat gets a good smoky flavor, it firms up, you can break it up, and then you mix it with mayonnaise, maybe some pickles and a little hot sauce. Makes a phenomenal fish dip, which you can keep for a week or two weeks, and it's a great appetizer. Generally, kingfish aren't regarded as a fish that you're gonna eat a lot of fillets of. Most people release them or make them into fish dip. Thank you guys for joining us today on Fish Story. I'm Cameron Herconnell with Team Salt Life. We'll see you next time.